Okay, so first of all, CFC stands for chlorofluorocarbons, and these are compounds that contain chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. They have a carbon chain with chlorines and fluorines attached. There are many different kinds of CFCs with different numbers of carbons, chlorines, and fluorines. These three examples are the three most common CFCs, CFC 11, CFC 12, and CFC 113. CFCs have a special numbering system to identify them. You can work out the chemical formula from the CFC's number, and this video is going to show you two different methods of doing this. The same numbering system is also used for HCFCs, which are hydrochlorofluorocarbons and contain hydrogen as well as chlorine, fluorine and carbon. So for the first method, you need to assume that each CFC has a three-digit numerical code. And the first number is the number of carbons plus one. The second number is the number of hydrogens minus one. And the third number is the number of fluorines. Then, because carbons in CFCs have four bonds, they are bonded to four other atoms. And so from this, the number of chlorines can be worked out. Also, for CFCs with only two numbers, you have to assume that the first number is zero. So, for example, CFC11 becomes CFC011. Then, as the first number represents the number of carbons plus one, CFC11 contains zero plus one carbons, and so it has one carbon. Then the second number is the number of hydrogen atoms, minus one, and therefore CFC11 contains one minus one hydrogen atoms, and so it has no hydrogens. CFCs don't have any hydrogens, but remember this is the same numbering system that is used for HCFCs, which do have hydrogen atoms. Then for CFC11, the third number is the number of fluorines, and therefore CFC11 has one fluorine. Then, because carbons always have four atoms bonded to them, this means CFC11 must have three chlorines because one of its carbon bonds is already taken up with a fluorine atom. The second example is CFC12. And as this also has only two numbers, then we need to add a zero in front of the 12 to make the numerical code CFC012. The first number represents the number of carbons plus one, and so CFC12 has zero plus one carbons, and so it has one carbon just like CFC11. Of course, from these examples, it should be obvious that any CFC with only two numbers must also have only one carbon. Then the second number for CFC12 is the number of hydrogen atoms minus one. And so CFC12 also has no hydrogen atoms, just like CFC11. Then the third number is the number of fluorines. And so CFC12 has two fluorines. Then, because two of the carbon bonds are taken up with fluorine, that means there must be two chlorines in CFC12. Then the third example is CFC113. And this doesn't need to have a zero added to the beginning of it, as it already has three numbers. So for CFC113, the first number is the number of carbon atoms plus one, and so CFC113 has two carbon atoms. Then the second number is the number of hydrogen atoms minus one, and so CFC113 has no hydrogen atoms. Then the third number is the number of fluorine atoms, and so CFC113 has three fluorine atoms. Now working out the number of chlorines in this case is slightly more complicated because there is more than one carbon. Each carbon has four available bonds. However, one of those bonds for each carbon needs to be used to bond it to the other carbon. So there are actually six available bonds. And because there are three fluorines, that means there must also be three chlorines in CFC 113. 
Now there is a calculation that you can use to work this out each time, which is the number of carbons times by two, and then plus two, and then minus the number of hydrogens and minus the number of fluorines, which in this case is two times two carbons plus two, which is the number of available carbon bonds, and in this case is six, and then minus zero hydrogens, and then minus three fluorines, which equals three. This calculation also works in the two previous examples, the CFC 11 and CFC 12. It just isn't really necessary in those cases. However, this system is considered to be overly complicated and another method exists where you add 90 to whatever the CFC number is. This will always produce a three digit number and the first number will be the number of carbons and the second number will be the number of hydrogens and the third number will be the number of fluorines and then you can work out the chlorines from there. So for example, for CFC 11, you start by adding 90 to it, which makes 101. Then the first number is the number of carbons, which is one. And then the second number is the number of hydrogens, which is zero. And then the third number is the number of fluorines, which is one. Then you can use the same calculation as before to work out the number of chlorines, which in this method is two times the first number, plus two, and then minus the second number, and then minus the third number, which in this case is two times one carbon plus two, and that makes four, which is the number of available carbon bonds, and then minus zero hydrogens, and minus one fluorine, which makes three. So CFC 11 has three chlorines. Then CFC 12 plus 90 equals 102. So the first number is one, and this is the number of carbons, and then the second number is zero, and this is the number of hydrogens, and then the third number is two, and this is the number of fluorines. Then, using the same calculation as before, CFC 12 has two chlorines. And then finally, CFC 113 plus 90 equals 203. And so it has two carbons, and zero hydrogens and three fluorines. And then using the calculation, you can see that it has three chlorines. So you can see that the first method and the second method give the same results. And you can use either one of these methods to work out the chemical formula for any CFC using its number.